Hello, this is Nice Wonder. I'm here at Politicon with John Fuglesang. John, thank you for being on the Now Man Show. Thank you. And this is also a show about entertainment as well. And I have to say, as a fan of the Beatles, and particularly uh, the interview that you did with George Harrison on VH1, it was absolutely remarkable. Can you tell us uh, a, a little bit about that? Thank you. Um, yeah, I was about to go to London to interview McCartney. We did a live town hall special for him. And they called me and said, you have to delay your departure because uh, we need you in New York to talk to George Harrison and Ravi Shankar. And he hadn't toured since the 70s. Um, and I was a huge George Harrison fan. Uh, I came from a, a, a rather religious background. Um, and I admired how he took his Catholicism and used it to springboard into a deeper spiritual searching. And I knew he wouldn't want to talk about Beatles or Lennon. I knew he'd want to talk about God and what happens when you die and meditation. And so uh, we talked about that and he was comfortable. I was a terrible interviewer. Uh, I was awful and uh, no, no, but he liked the rawness of it. And I was terrible. I was very nervous. You know, you meet your idol and you're a blubbering twit. But the one thing I did right was I knew he'd want to talk about God and meditation and what happens when you die. He went up staying for four hours. Uh, we gave him a guitar. He played four songs. It was his last televised performance. Um, and uh, he was diagnosed a couple of months later. They, they aired it, nobody watched, and then they, uh, they recut it for an hour-long special. And so when he died, uh, they aired it all day, and they put back all the stuff about God and meditation, what happens when you die. At one point he even said, this is all a bit lofty for VH1. But um, yeah. uh, to this day, uh, you know, I met my idol, and I was kind of a, a blubbering twit. But um, as a result, it gave me a real gift, and I, I learned a lot and grew from the experience. Yeah, and I, I'm a preacher's son myself, so I okay. totally understand. And, and he, when he did My Sweet Lord, that really moved me at the time. I was a teenager, and I thought, there's something here. There's something special going on, not because of the religion, but because of some deeper understanding. So I, when I saw that interview, I really, really enjoyed it, really appreciated the full spectrum of what you brought to it. So I think that generally in, in most of American media, when it comes to spirituality, we get atheists and we get guys screaming at women outside clinics and I don't see a lot of interesting conversation about belief and uh, and faith and and and, and religion the good and bad um, I we get black and whites and uh, you know the old expression trust anyone seeking the truth don't trust those who've claimed they found it and um, that was what I got out of George he was a, he was a real seeker the most beautiful smile I've ever had he laughed at my jokes and uh, and it was a, a lovely day, and um, and hey, later on, Scorsese used some of it in his documentary, so I can finally say I have been in a Martin Scorsese film. Wow, that's awesome! That's awesome.